Hey, Luna Moth here. Um, I've been sick, so I haven't really been able to make videos. Um, okay, so I made a video a while back saying there was going to be some sort of tornado. Then the tornado happened in Los Angeles during the Pineapple Express storm. It was like a mini tiny tornado. So I made a video about the fact that what I talked about had happened and said LA tornado, like L dot A dot tornado. So interestingly, this week, I found out yesterday that there was in fact another t tornado in LA, but this time it's not Los Angeles, it was LA as in Louisiana. Uh, so the tornadoes that happened yesterday, I believe, um, started and formed in Amite City, Louisiana, and then moved on to Columbia in southern Mississippi. Uh, there's uh, four people that they're reporting dead, and along with blackouts and power outages, which was something else I talked about in the original video. Um, so I just think that that's interesting, that L.A. tornado and Louisiana tornado, anyway... There's that. Uh, today, some kind of warning about New York. Um, so, someone posted something on my Facebook feed, or it's just, it's not even on my wall, it's just on the feed, um, about New York, and then right below it was this other video about the New York grid, and then right below it was this thing that said, uh, someone else's status update that said, alert, a classic terrorist setup is now in place in New York. Massive amounts of protesters and shoppers and a funeral pending. Do not be surprised if terror attacks in such scenarios do not occur between tonight and December 26th, which uh, the 26th is a target date. Pay, uh, quakes pending West Coast. Uh, I don't know. Um, so I'm paying attention because it's three in a row on my news feed, and that doesn't happen. <laughs> so the thing about the grid was actually a video titled Speed Levitch, the New York City Grid Plan. And in it, he's talking about like the actual... And one of the... <sighs> He was talking about how it's not working for everyone, and he's like, we should just blow the whole thing up and start over, like, joking. But that kind of caught my eye, or ear, um, thinking that there might be some kind of explosion or bomb threat. Um, also, the fact that it's referred to the NYC grid, I think of grid as in, like, the power grid, as in a blackout, some kind of terror attack of that effect. So I'm just going to put that warning out for New York. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, everything was all about New Orleans, but I didn't really get any specific warnings, so I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, we have coming up, this is what I saw yesterday, coming up, long lines. So this reminded me of uh, the food rationing. And people having to wait in line for food, bread, sugar, supplies, soup. Um, so rationing and then also the hunger games, like as in actual hunger games starting. Uh, there's also a song by Zero Seven called In the Waiting Line. What's interesting about this is that I took a picture in 2010 at the memorial in Washington, D.C. that has the men standing in line, a la the Great Depression. And uh, I'll post the picture, but... I titled it In the Waiting Line after the song title, um, but <laughs> I never really connected at the time uh, the, the scene that the song was painting, so let me read the lyrics, and um, you can know for yourself. Uh, so it says, wait in line till your time, ticking clock, everyone stop. 
Everyone's saying different things to me, different things to me. Do you believe in what you see? There doesn't seem to be anybody else who agrees with me. Do you believe in what you see? Motion. Living lies. Every day, stealing time. Everyone's taking everything they can, everything they can. Um, and I'll shout and I'll scream, but I'd rather not be seen and I'll hide away for another day, wasting my time in the waiting line. Everyone's saying different things to me. Everyone's taking all, everything they can, everything they can. So now that I think about it, I always just like this song. It's very, like, soothing and beautiful, but <laughs> it actually kind of describes, like, this person standing here, like, in calm while there's this chaos going around of, like, this looting or mad dash of a store. Like, everyone's taking everything they can. Uh, that's at least the translation that I'm seeing, like, referring to, like, the Great Depression or what's coming um, of like just chaos and confusion and a mad dash people just grabbing everything they can and saying whatever they can and no one really knows what's going on but everyone's frantic so there's that coming up long lines um and then um where i used to post updates called the signs on the playhouse because on my drive to work i would see the certain signs that would change with whatever play was playing at the playhouse um, on my way. So I, ha I was down there just a few days ago, and the sign was striking 12. So in order to understand that, you have to understand what the 11th hour is. Okay, so the 11th hour is like the last minute uh, before the dawn, you know, like... Um, midnight running out of time like it's really just like the 11th hour is like emergency last minute so if it's striking 12 then we are no longer in the 11th hour we are hitting midnight we are out of time um so you can take that to mean whatever you think it means 12 like we're out of time on this age <laughs> and something else is starting and um, it's going to get really interesting and hard from here on out. So anyway, I think that is all that I had and happy holidays and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night.